the English Chess Federation here, nice. making the first move for Vichy. Of D4. So I'm not if he's going to stick with D4 or if he's going to play E4 here, but he is looking to strike back and beat Feruza in this game. As they say, they're trying to be, you know, a, a spoilers here for people uh, in the standings. And he goes with E4. Yeah, and Vichy plays E4. Feruza plays what is known. What? Uh, can't, uh, in fact. No, the Karo Khan. Karo can't. <laughs> Karo Khan. <It> is. <laughs> D5 is the Karo Khan, but as James says, D6. Why did Firuja just push his pawn one square forward? What could be the logic behind this setup that he's taken? It looks like some type of uh, over the board mouse slip, in fact. Online, that would be a uh, D5. A lot of times people would want to play D5 here, but this is over the board chess, and it seems like he uh, forgot to push it twice. But he actually ends up in a Philidor position and a, a sort of a very small center setup, as you see what Black is doing there. Sort of very provocative here. White uh, from Vishiana on here is actually playing very aggressively here. These positions are nice for White. Yeah, very aggressive play by Vishiana here. He's taken a lot of space on the board. And uh, moving on to board number some big developments happening on the icon board. Vishiana, right out of the opening, seems to have gotten a big advantage against Reza Firuja. The last move that was played. Why Alireza is not liked by the engines? I am not surprised here um, by what the engines say. In fact, uh, obviously it's a, sort of a King's Indian type of position now that Ferruja does uh, thrive into as well. It puts the bishop on g7 and sort of looks like some type of King's Indian. But White already has some pressure down the g file where moves like f5 and also e5 followed by f5 are very possible here. Really, it's just moving pieces to that side of the board, and that is what uh, Anand is trying to do now. Yeah, Anand just moves his knight back. The the engines really preferred pushing the pawn, but still, White's position is fantastic. And James, what would it mean if Vishy today beat Ali Reza Firuja? Because he's been the player of the tournament. He's beaten almost everyone apart from that small slip-up he had against Yesterday. Hikaru. Yeah, that's and crazy. Vishy has not been playing well at all. He's yeah. had three draws and four losses. Yeah, it actually will be a nice motivation and actually just feels good because we are trying to spoil here. It is not realistic for uh, Ganges Grandmaster to so actually get to uh, the final there. Maybe it's possible, but of course, as they mentioned uh, in the coach's uh, interview there, that they're just trying to be spoilers here. and. He'll be able to definitely strike and make the Trevini Continental Kings think twice about making it to the final there. So we are going to have to play our best chess here from Trevini Continental Kings. And Anand doing the same. Just playing good chess, having a good time. And if you enjoy playing chess, uh, then don't worry. Even after the last match is over, head over to chess.com and play for your favorite GCL club in the official fan tournament for now. Vishy Anand is just huddling up all his pieces right in the center, backed by those pawns in the front. I think, James, this is looking quite dangerous for Ali Reza. Absolutely. Of course, we have uh, on pre, we can play pawn e5 or pawn f5. And White's pieces are all developed here. Even look at Vishy looking away, showing a sense of confidence right now. All my pieces are developed. I'm actually aiming at the king's side here. This isn't looking the greatest here for uh, Ali Reza at all. We also have to develop the bishop on c8 to be able to connect our rooks to complete our development. If we don't do this, we're going to have some problems. And here's the b5 move, trying to get that bishop out. He pushes that pawn, James. He wants to gain space on the queen side. How should Anand continue? He has so many tempting options. He can push the pawn. His knight can jump in. It looks like... Uh, a problem of plenty here absolutely of course a lot of times when you have many options you can make mistakes uh, because there's just so many options here pawn e5 does look quite good so i try to open up some lines here but after maybe a capture once there may be a knight h5 which is what Ferruja may be banking on yeah for now vishy has to be very careful about such committal moves he would have done it if he was in good form in this tournament but as of now he might want to play this safely. Let's have a look.
this, but uh, uh, you know, Bali Reza is very uh, tricky to say the word, but also lots of tactics as well. Let's see how we got here after B5. Yeah, he pushed his pawn as we said. Rishi is a little bit uh, careful at this point of time because of how the tournament has been going for him, and he pushed the pawn and oh, looks he gave it up, but picked up the pawn. On the corner of the board, and this is where we stand right now. Mm, yeah, okay, I can see that the knight on d1 is just completely misplaced here, but from a human standpoint, it feels very good as so we can go bishop c3 next, it seems like. Uh, and also, the back rank problems are there for, for Ali Reza. It feels like his back rank may be a little loose. We also have the f pile to work with. So, practically, definitely like White's position, it feels like we're still pressing. Yeah, White's position looks nice here. But as of now, Alireza Firuja does feel that he has his chance to, to sort of find the best move here. The best one would be to bring your rook down the board here, James, pinning the knight. And you can see that once the knight cannot move, black can really put pressure there. That actually is a great move here with the queen. You can see it probably being uh, the next follow-up move. As well, then you ask why would it? Oh, he finds it. Rook a1. Is it, Whoa, there is a good move in the position. Ali Reza you will find it. Bank on oh, Ali Reza. Man. man, this guy is in such good form here. Yeah, definitely. Even in inferior positions, it seems. Of course, he did have the blip there in the Caro game in a winning, not winning, sorry, a drawn in game. Just having the extra pawn, trying to pressure for more, was able to lose that one, so it happens. But other than that, an excellent form from Ali Reza. Yeah, so right now Ali Reza Firuja pulling things back for the Triveni Continental Kings because on the female superstar boards, the Ganges Grandmasters are absolutely dominating. Vaishali is close to winning against Koschenyuk. Salimova is almost winning against Gunina to the icon board because Vishi Anand has just blundered, it seems, and Ali Reza Firuja has moved his queen in. Anand moves the knight back and the bishop joined in. Vishi resigns. Ali Reza, well, he had a small break in his winning ways, but he's back on track. Six oh, and a half points out of eight for.